Hi, welcome to Case of the Day and today we're ending the ninth week with Case 36 and I'll see you back on Monday with the 10th week. But today we're looking at uh, internal mammary node enlargement in young patients with suspected tuberculous pleural effusion. Very long title. But this is a 31-year-old who presented with a right pleural effusion that was aspirated. The sputum and pleural fluid cytology were negative for AFP. ADA was elevated. It was an exudate lymphocytic predominant. So despite the negative um, cytology uh, on, on gene expert, the presentation and findings were highly suggestive of tuberculosis and the patient was sent for a CT to look for any other stigmata of tuberculosis. So the contrast CT shows the thickening. It was uh, more than 5 millimeters. You can see the split pleura sign. Uh, clearly, this is an exudate. Uh, all of that is there, but there are no mediastinal lymph nodes. There was no supraclavicular lymph node, no other relevant adenopathy and the underlying lungs um, are absolutely normal. So I'd seen this case today, we'd done the scan yesterday and then I remembered this paper that I had uh, preserved in Zotero, uh, which is my, my article management system uh, and this was last year where this uh, Italian group and there was a multi-center study um, looked at uh, uh, internal mammary node enlargement in tuberculous pleurisy and they concluded that if you see enlarged internal mammary lymph nodes then it increases the pretest probability of tuberculosis and so I, I spent that extra minute looking for these internal mammary nodes and they were all enlarged as you can see here I measured them and at least three of the lymph nodes were more than five millimeters in uh, short axis. And the points from that paper are that anything more than five millimeters is an enlarged internal mammary node. In patients under 50, in the setting of a pleural effusion, an enlarged internal mammary node has a high positive predictive value for TB. In patients over 50, absence of an enlarged internal mammary node has a high negative predictive value for TB. And all of this is because the internal mammary nodes serve as sentinel nodes for uh, pleural disease because of the lymphatic drainage pattern. And so in young patients under 50 with suspected TB pleural effusion, if the lungs and mediastinum are normal and you know, the uh, sputum and cytology don't show AFB, it may be a good idea to look for enlarged internal mammary nodes and if they're greater than 5 mm, perhaps we could read. So the way I read this was that um, right pleural effusion is seen with pleural thickening, without nodules, with um, a passive and subsegmental atelectasis of the subjacent lung parenchyma, with no other pulmonary mediastinal hilar supraclavicular abnormality. There are enlarged internal mammary nodes which may point towards the diagnosis of tuberculosis. And I just put that in because of this paper. And hopefully somebody will do another study to corroborate these findings. And so we may have another way of um, uh, trying to confirm a diagnosis of TB in these patients where it is almost certainly TB. But uh, we don't have... Um, a microbiology confirmation. That's my WhatsApp channel and I'll see you next week Monday uh, with week 10. Take care.